Good luck, Scott. Play an update on the pepper front. We are 175 subscribers away from uh, eating those peppers. You're just gonna eat the pepper. You're not gonna like mix it with something. Why would I? We're gonna have, you know, we're gonna have like a glass of milk, some some ice cream. <laughs> no, we gotta even see down the road, Doug. You're fine. No, but we should have one in the staff. I mean, nah. we're, we're just just letting you know that you know on air that this is not condoned or approved by Vintage Breaks Management. J Five and I are gonna have a small time. I agree with you, Harry. I think that uh, I really like black. I like what they did with it. Um, uh, Obsidian does seem nice. I didn't actually see the cards yet. I looked online. Uh, so I'm not sure, Scott. Yeah, there's there's definitely something off with the first few cards here. So I'm not sure if uh, someone decided to play football with your pack. But uh, Robert, if we can get another 81 baseball cello, well, you know, we'll see who's in there. But this is uh, this will go out to you. But this is this is unacceptable. Like I said, oh, Sweet Lou didn't get elected to the Hall of Fame. But, yeah, I think uh, we'll get you another pack there. Do a little redo. There we go. Harry, went through a lot of uh, Panini Black football. I mean, we, we went through a bunch of boxes in the last, like, week, 10 days. But, you know, probably six, eight weeks ago, we, we went through a lot of it. We were lucky. We bought, let's say, like a case or two originally, you know, like 10 or 20 boxes from Panini because it was an online-only thing. And then, you know, we saw the product was just really cool. Sold well. And then, uh, you know, we bought a bunch from the secondary market, but the price kept going up. You know, at some point, you can't really uh, offer it. Uh, oh, great. Thanks, Robert. All right, take two on 81 Tops Baseball Cello Pack number 140. Yep. Yeah. This is a little bit more like it. Perfect. Good luck, Scott. Yeah, I really liked it, Harry. What what was your favorite card that you pulled? We pulled some nice ones uh, from what I remember. I mean, I didn't see all of them open, but did you get any of the big rookies, like, uh, you know, RPAs, as they call them, or, you know, autograph cards? Davey Lopes had that card in a 10. I know this set well. We broke a lot of vending a couple years ago when we were submitting even more PSA, like bulk stuff. Bill Garner. No, Scott, we don't. Uh, we did have a 78 rack earlier. We do have another couple 78 racks. I was going to list one, you know, later tomorrow. Um, but we definitely do not have any more 78 baseball cello at the moment. I hope some of you folks have uh, decided to check out our group, uh, the Vintage Breaks Buy, Sell, Trade, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, group on Facebook. Uh, bought another couple cards today. Tim Corcoran. Hey, what's up, Charles? How are you? Looking forward to our cards. I don't know if you listed any more. You caught my last email on those 75s, but those will make either good giveaways or, you know, whatever the case is. And I'm definitely, uh, you know, even more prone to purchase if you pull if you pull them on our show, vintage or modern. Uh, even if it's modern, you see in the case of, like, Donnie Baseball, even though I certainly love Donnie Baseball and still collect to a certain extent, I am, you know, I'll buy it and give it away or give you break credit and give it away on the show. So hit us up. It's going to be a fun year in 2020. Looking forward to a uh, good finish to 2019. Hope you are all as well. Great, Charles. Sounds good. 
Take it easy, Matt. Thanks for the heads up. That's pretty sweet. So it's Rush Rushman or Rushman, three to four thousand. Congratulations, man. That's awesome, Harry. So nothing big in there, Scott. Thanks, Dave. We have a good one going on right now. It's the tenth one, as Isaiah thankfully pointed out, or we would have shorted every folks, everyone uh, uh, one. Um, so it's holiday special number ten. Uh, but once again, if nothing, if, if a previous special did not fill, well, that one's going to carry over until it fills. So one way or the other, we're giving the stuff away. Um, and we have a really good one we announced at 8.30. I don't know what's going on in terms of spots and such, but I'm sure the uh, staff behind the glass will be able to tell you what's up. Oh, I do, yes. Harry, I do remember that. Now, Harry, are you collecting the set, or, like, how do you look at that set? I'm just kind of curious. Because once again, Harry and anyone else... You know, you folks are getting, I'm making it up. You've got 11 jersey and autograph cards. Stuff's worth 150 bucks. You're like, oh my God, i got to list it on eBay. You know, i got to deal with 11 different people. What if the, per the one person, you know, went to Peru like J5, they don't ever come back. So now you're still stuck with stuff. So if it's something reasonable, especially like that, um, we'll buy it here. We'll buy it for you uh, from ca you know, cash, PayPal, um, Wampom, uh, break credit, whatever, you know, whatever you're looking for. But if you have extras, things that don't fall in your collection, in the core of it, Give the folks a chance, the other collectors a chance at the uh, Vintage Breaks Buy, Sell, Trade group on Facebook. Um, all right, so let's see what we got next on the list. Let me shut off.